People go to the dentist in order to maintain the health of their teeth and gums. But what about the people who work in dental offices? Are dental practitioners putting their own health on the line? They are. According to the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, OSHA, more than 30 million workers, more than 20% of the entire U.S. workforce, are exposed to hazardous chemical products in the workplace. Those who work in dental offices, hospitals, and other healthcare environments are often exposed to one of the most dangerous chemicals around, and they may not even be aware of the risk. Here's a true story. A nurse had an acute asthma attack requiring hospital admission after glutaraldehyde was introduced at her workplace. She was symptomless for four years after she started using glutaraldehyde when she started getting irritation of the eyes dry cough and episodes of wheezing, which she associated with glutaraldehyde exposure. The United Kingdom Health and Safety Executive Group, HSE, raised concerns over glutaraldehyde use following reports of health problems from staff exposed to glutaraldehyde. The HSE had glutaraldehyde withdrawn from use in 2002. Sadly, it is still widely being used here in the U.S. What exactly is this dangerous chemical? According to OSHA, glutaraldehyde is a hazardous chemical that is used as a cold sterilant to disinfect and sterilize heat-sensitive medical, surgical, and dental equipment. Glutaraldehyde needs special ventilation and disposal per OSHA guidelines. It's also used as a tissue fixative in labs. Published research has shown glutaraldehyde is harmful in several ways. It's harmful to providers, patients, instruments, and the environment. For providers, glutaraldehyde is the most common cause of occupational asthma. Yes, you heard that right. Glutaraldehyde is the number one cause of occupational asthma in healthcare workers, and it's associated with a greater incidence of lung disease. And since it's such a powerful irritant, glutaraldehyde can cause allergic contact dermatitis. This often causes persistent dermatitis, which frequently forces users to leave their jobs. It's not much better for patients. They can have allergic reactions if glutaraldehyde is not properly rinsed off of equipment. Glutaraldehyde is considered toxic to the environment if not disposed of properly. Speaking of instruments, we mentioned that it's used as a tissue fixative in labs. Well, what do you think it then does to traces of dental tissue that come in contact with dental instruments? It can fix proteins from the tissues to the instruments. Because glutaraldehyde fixes protein, it may allow prions, which are infectious protein particles, to pass from person to person. Prions are what caused the mad cow outbreak a few years back. Researchers did an experiment in which they coated a metal strip with blood, then disinfected and cleaned it. Here is how the control looked. You can see that glutaraldehyde made the blood stick even more because, remember, it fixes the protein to the equipment and that's what causes the blood to stick to these metals, which could not be rinsed off. Glutaraldehyde was made to kill bacteria and viruses. Guess what? Latest research has shown that some bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and virus HPV-16 are becoming resistant to glutaraldehyde. Also, glutaraldehyde is toxic to the environment. Even small quantities can kill aquatic organisms. There are disposal requirements of this hazardous material, which tells you how toxic it is if it gets washed down the drain. So what can be done? There is another cold, sterile disinfectant, one that has no bad odor and does not require special preparation or disposal. You don't need to use it in a ventilation room, and it works faster than glutaraldehyde. That disinfectant is called Sporox. Both Sporox and glutaraldehyde are considered high-level disinfectants. But because it's made with hydrogen peroxide as its active agent, Sporox doesn't have the toxicity of glutaraldehyde. It's time to realize what the rest of the world has known for years. Glutaraldehyde is a dangerous, hazardous chemical that causes harm to people, equipment, and the environment. It's time to make a safer choice. It's time for Sporox. For more information, visit www.saferwithsporox.com.